I have a uh, fiance. 36-year-old convicted killer Jesse Dotson says he's planning to get married in August. He says his fiance, a 45-year-old Horn Lake, Mississippi woman, started writing him letters while he was locked up at 201 Poplar after being arrested for the Leicester Street murders. We've been together for about three years now. In October, Dotson was convicted of killing six people at the Leicester Street home, including his brother and two young nephews. The jury gave him six death penalty sentences. Dotson says his fiance went to the trial just a couple times. What does your fiance think? Does she think that you did it? Mm, I don't really, you know, I really can't speak for her. You know, I don't know if she, she could tell me one thing, but she can think another. His fiance told us over the phone she loves Jesse Dotson and does not think he's guilty. They've been engaged for two years. Dotson's mother says his fiance called her once before. The first thought came to my mind, what is wrong with this lady? Is she crazy? You know, how could you see a killer on the news and you want to marry him or you want to be his girlfriend? You know, some ladies like jail men and maybe she's one of those. I don't know. I just wish them both luck, whatever. But what kind of marriage are you going to have with a man that's on death row? In 1987, the Supreme Court ruled that prisoners have a constitutionally protected right to marry. While unusual, prison weddings are not unheard of. Convicted child killer Damian Eccles has been married more than 10 years. His wife, Lori Davis, a Manhattan architect, started writing him after he was arrested for killing three eight year old West Memphis boys in 1994. The two married at an Arkansas prison chapel in 1999. In November, Eccles told us keeping a prison marriage alive on death row is difficult. Whenever you're married to someone out there, you have a lot of things that you take for granted things like physical intimacy, things like coming home to the to the person you're married to every night. You don't have that in a situation like this, so it forces you to grow together psychologically and emotionally. You have to, to find other means of connecting, other ways of uh, being together. In Tennessee, inmates must get permission from the warden before getting married. There are two counseling sessions with both the bride and groom. A spokesperson says Dotson's wedding would take place in the visiting area with appropriate restraints for his security level. At the ceremony, there is no cake, no cameras, and just four pre-approved visitors. The wedding is non-contact, meaning no kiss, and death row inmates are never allowed conjugal visits. See the love of your life? Yeah. Yeah.